Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. We are from group 1. Our group consists of 6 people which is me, Mansaf, uh, Aiman, Gejen, Amirul Mukmin, uh, Izat, Aini and Hamzani. Uh, we choose uh, location number 8 and the, the, the theme is Nusantara. Okay, for the theme of Nusantara, Nusantara Garden theme is an outdoor living design concept which is largely inspired by Malaysian culture and craftsmanship. This term which is uh, rich in tropical plant and diverse traditional for home garden. It is a sanctuary and a place where the sense of light, sound, touch and taste can be rejuvenated. Next, this is our detailed layout design. Our, de uh, our plant uh, is labeled by numbering. Next. Uh, Today, uh, I will explain about basic landscape design that uh, we use in our landscape design. First is unity. We use unity of three, uh, which is plant that group in odd number shown higher balance to the eye and give a stronger sense of unity. Odd number allow for staggered variation in height such as small, medium and large that provide more interest. Unity of color. Warm color are used to describe tropical climax. Next, emphasis. Emphasis increase the presence of one or more aspect to make them look more important or essential. Next, variety. Variety is a technique for merging visual component in order to create rich and complicated interconnection. People. Next, balance. In our landscape design, we use symmetrical. They are more or less equally spaced, matching element of the garden design. Next is rhythm. Uh, rhythm is in a landscape design tool such as color scheme, line and shape may be repeated to achieve scheme. Rhythm also reduce confusion in the design. Okay, my name is Amirul. Today I will uh, present about design element in landscape. There is nine uh, key in design element. Which first, is this uh, element which is a uh, component and characteristic of a landscape that add a harmony, visual appear and functionality. It is important to consider each design element. Each one of the element is misused or, or overlooked. It will lead to failure of the entire landscape design. Okay, this is my design about element. So we can see. Okay, first uh, is line. Line is used to draw form on plan. In plan view, they define plan base and hardscape area also create created by the vertical form of brood feature and plant material okay second is shape shape the element of shape is formed or set off by one or more of the other element of visual design three is color color in plant material and hardscape add interest and variety to the landscape color is the most conflictual element in the landscape and is usually the focus of most homeowner however it also the most temporary element, usually lastly, lasting only a few weeks or used for individual plan. The use of, of color is guided by color theory. This is this color. Uh, we see the color lightness and darkness affect the perception of other design component. So if measure from lightest and darkest, which make gray being of hardware value. Value can be employed to, to highlight mass or provide contrast in the landscape. Uh, for the for example, a white line on a black shape has in has high contrast. Okay, next is texture. Number five is texture. Texture can be used for many function. First is enable certain emotion by the viewer. Viewer uh, create a sense of space and depth. Provide contrast to emphasize or highlight part of the landscape. Create line. Uh, for example, if a song loan is bordered by a cost texture, H is create a distinct line for the eye to follow. Number C is same of three dim dimensional design that has depth or the same that the landscape extends into the distance and is not two di dimensional. A uh, landscape that lack depth will only show height and width. A real design landscape should appear to extend into the distance and draw the viewer to get deeper into the landscape. Achieved by repeated use of the same form, planting texture and for example of space element in landscape design, space.
Number seven is that this is a uh, simplicity. The concept of, uh, of reducing of eliminating non sectional to avoid quality look. Simplicity brings clarity and purpose to the design. Many designers achieve simplicity by truthfully removing feature from a design while still preserving uh, integrity. Simplicity is simple keeping the code to a minimum and within a specific theme as well as keeping hard skates such as border consistent. Okay, lastly is tone. Tone is basically the effect of the lightness and darkness creating a, a shape of colors affecting the intensity of the color. Tone of plant material may either complement or contrast with the tone of the surrounding element in the nature. Thank you. Assalamualaikum and hi. My partner Gajen and I will explain about the type of Nusantara plant that we use in our project. First, Kalatea lutea. This is suitable for Balinese landscape because it's a tropical style plant and usually broadleaf. This plant can be chosen to beautify the garden. Second, Areca palm. In a spacious space and one an ornamental tree that is characterized by a tropical atmosphere. Areca palm is the most suitable ornamental tree. It is also able to improve ventilation in the area. Third, Etlingera elatio, or it's called Bunga Kantan. It has their own aroma which considered fragrant and relaxing. Next, Drasayina trifasiata. It is durable, easy grown and difficult to kill. And we tolerate very low light area as filler plant. Next, uh, Caladium bicola or Caladi merah. A mass of Caladium is an explosion of white, greens, red and pink that are mortar, vein and stripper. They can easily give you the visual impact of flower while only being foliage plant. Hi everyone, today I will continue the part of the type of plant that we have choose for the Lucentra plants. So first of all, uh, in my part, I will explain now the five plant that we have choose. The first one is two bros, uh, Poco Harum Sudamala, which is we choose this plant because it is used mainly for it, its pregnancy and to promote relaxation and sleep. Other than that, the Sentra uh, team, usually they will plant the white color to attract with the wood. So this is the main reason why we choose the top rose. All right, next, we're going to be rain lily flower, which is the scientific name is Zephyr lily. Okay, in this part, the crocus like flowers uh, which arrive in various bright shapes and it is requires minimal care to stay stunning from late summer to early fall. So this plant we will place it in the pond so it is, will survive with the water because it is, it is need required a lot of water so we will put it in the pond. And next we moving to plant Poco Pandan uh, which is pandanus summarily foliage. So this plant is a arabicus tropical plant that grows abundantly in Southeast Asia. In Chinese, it is known as pregnant plant because it is unique and it has aroma, sweet aroma, fragrance. So this cultivated plant, which is similar to the palm, features up. Bright, bright green leaves that are long, slender, and spiky. Fourth one is, is Pistia stratius L, uh, also known as water lettuce. It is flowed on the water surface with roots hanging below floating leaves. Its close habit can make it a weed in water waste, which it, it can kill native submerged plants and reduce biodiversity. It also may clog water waste in warmer. And lastly, we choose 
Zycia metrila, which is Manila grass, it is the most famous grass because it is pine carpet grass that then cow grass or pearl grass. It is quite hardy and does not need to water frequently. However, it needs full sunlight whole day and you only need to regular moving about once every two weeks or some weeding. This is the main reason why we choose this grass. So that's all from me. Thank you. Hi. Uh, today is my part is about maintenance. So let me intro introduce about our plan that uh, we took for our for our landscape. The first is I cap uh, the Calatia lutea, Seprentes candida, Atlangera eliato, and Polyanthes tuberus. Okay. How to the how to uh, care of the plant? Uh, the erica plant is require optimum temperature. Uh, is among of twenty five until thirty one maybe for this plant. Uh, the second is after three months need to replace on the ground because this plant this palm, uh, is uh will ha will higher and this plant is uh, the this plant is big. Okay, the plant version city free chlorine water. Okay, the second is Caletia lutea. Uh, the first is need a mixture of peat soil and roasted husk and add compost compost and fertilize of plant. This plant is not uh, difficult to care. Okay, the third plant is the Prentice Candida, as we know as a lily. Uh, lily need uh, the temperatures not more than uh, 5 degrees Celsius. Uh, need uh, requires a lot of water and two times per week should be fertilized. Okay, the fourth is Elangera eliato. Elangera el Eliato is known as a bunga kantan that requires moist and high organic soil. Uh, you must to plant it with rhizomes and the plant survive, uh, survive is high. Okay. The polyanthus tuberous known as a uh, harum, uh, bunga harum sundamalam, uh, sundamalam is uh, have uh, their fragrance. The fragrance will disappear if not stored properly. Need a uh, requires direct sunlight. Okay. The next slide is about the plant Caladium bicola, Pistia stratiotes, and Rakena trafasiata, and lastly Pandanus emarilifolius. Calendia bicola known as a uh, red uh, bunga cladi uh, bunga cladi uh, cladi merah uh, types and shape of pot must to be suitable for this plant uh, because this plant is uh, because this plant is uh, high, uh, Tumbuh tinggi and uh, some type of caladium not suitable to expose with direct sun need to give additional fertilizer among the plant two until three months. Okay, Christia stratiotes is easy to handle this plant uh, because you you only need a water and to get the sapling only need to cut from. Uh, they are in dope and you need to live in water and die when the water dries up. Brycana okay. trifasciata is known as a snake uh, aloe vera or snake plant. It uh, requires use the pot made from clay or terracotta. The sapling need a dry environment and bright sunlight uh, and need once fertilizer in two months. Because uh, because this plant is uh late for to
because the fertilizer, sorry, because the fertilizer uh, is collect in the in the soil. Uh, and lastly, is pandanus amerifolius. Uh, is the juice? Uh, you need to choose the healthy seed whether you use root cutting or using plant based root. Bury and compact the surrounding soil together with seed. The plant is watering the twice and remove the dry leaf to prevent venomous animal. This plant is very easy to go up. So, uh, our plant uh, is not uh, our plant or our our maintenance is not used the track and we only use the labor only thank you okay now that is my turn so let me explain about labor cost and our budget in this project for definition labor cost is the cost acquired by the employer in the employment of labor that is the amount of employee wage and benefits plus payroll tax paid by an employer the labor cost is classified into two, which is direct and indirect cost. For labor cost management, our company hired three workers to work in this project. Next, the wage rate per workers is five ringgit, seven ringgit, and ten ringgit per hour. The amount is different because depending on their experience in landscape field. Furthermore, overall total. The employer need to spend per month to pay labor cost is four thousand four hundred and sixty ringgit. Next, for next subtopic is price of material. Here, list of material that we spend the capital, but some of other materials are free. The material that we use in this project is reflexology stone, Philippine grass, nails. And for plant, we use Calatia lutfa, Caladium bicola, and so on. All this material that used in this project resists from disease and indirectly can reduce maintenance cost. Lastly, overall budget in this project is 484 ringgit. That's all from me. Thank you.